Well, hello everyone, and you know, I decided I wanted to do something a bit different. I was having a chat with a friend, and now they seemed like it was a good idea, so I'm going to give it a try. This is Natchigal. It's uh, a visual novel from Cyanide Tea. It's available for free download on itch.io, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an episode up on this, and. It's up to you guys whether I put up a second, a third, a fourth, and so on. Now, what I want you guys to do is, if you want me to put an episode of this up, you got to like it. Okay, if episode one gets 20 likes, I'll make episode two. If episode two gets 20 likes, i make episode three, and so on. So, here's hoping that you guys like this. Let's make a start, shall we? Adrian. I'm not sure which one Adrian is, but... You've got the toys to make and not much time to do it, Miranda. Oh man, that's an ellipsis. Hurry and choose, or else we shall decide for you, which might be significantly less pleasant. How on earth did I get myself in this situation anyway? Bad karma? Or did I just piss off someone? Some god, maybe? Hmm. I don't think I've done anything worth being stuck in this life or death situation over. I might be a little biased, but I think I led a pretty decent life before, well... Well, before all this. I guess there's no use worrying about it. Not like it'd change anything. Come to think of it, I'm lucky even getting a choice. Not too long ago, these guys would have probably killed me if I sneezed too loud or something. What's important is how I got here. I need to choose carefully, so I should think it over a little. It all started two weeks ago. Oh crap. I went back through time again. I got into, a, into sightseeing that I completely lost track of time. I better use the GPS on my phone to help me get back to the hostel. Ah, my phone's out of battery. Jeez, what a time for my phone to be dead. Now I'm lost in the middle of the woods in the dark all by myself. This sounds like the beginning of a very awful horror movie, starring yours truly. Good thing there's no wolves in this forest. I should be safe if I have to rough it for the night. Might be kinda chilly though. Wait, is that? Uh, it looks like a building. I'll walk over to it and see if I can borrow a map or get directions or something if anybody's there. Okay, isolated building in the middle of the forest. This late at night, young girl all on her own. Did Hamahara not teach people not to get into this sort of situation? What? It's a castle. That's so weird. I don't remember seeing a castle on this map in this area at all. Maybe it was abandoned. And here I am, self-proclaimed expert on Belgium, and yet I don't know about this a castle as big and grand looking as this one. Guess I need to hit the books and watch some more when I get back. There's a light over at the Frankenstein place. Oh, she likes her large ellipses, doesn't she? Weird. I don't recognize the architecture. Did I overlook? Whoa, Nelly. I just touched the door a little and it opened right up. Just responded to my gentle punch, just like that. I don't want to trespass, but it is getting darker. I wonder if anybody's home. Whoa, I take it back what I said about this place being abandoned. It totally looks like someone's living here right now. This is so bizarre, a castle this big actually being used. How can I not remember reading about it? Hello? Is anyone here? I'm sorry for letting myself in, but I'm kind of lost and my phone's out of battery. No response. But there's lit candles out there. People wouldn't normally leave those unattended, would they? What if the whole place burns down? There's a huge portrait on the wall there. It looks pretty old. I wonder if it's an antique. I don't recognize the person in it, but then I guess even I'd have problems memorizing all the Belgian aristocrats. 
I always did have trouble with names. Forgot my own twice. Places and culture are just way more interesting. Hello? Anybody home? Still nothing. Maybe they stepped out for a bit. You'd expect a huge place like this to have servants or something. Maybe a wise old butler to greet guests and fetch tea. Or at least a locked front door. Well, no, it enables the food to come in quicker. Ha, ha, ha. Well, if they're not coming back for a little while, maybe I should take a look around. With any luck, they've got an outlet somewhere for me to use to charge my phone, and I can get out of here without being too much of a bother. I'll borrow one of these candlesticks then, just in case. You'd better not start talking to me in French or anything. Maybe as if I do anything like that. Giant ellipsis. And I'm lost again. Gosh. All these hallways look the same, and none of the unlocked rooms I've checked have had outlets. Wait a minute. I don't remember seeing any light switches either. Now that I think about it, it's just been candles everywhere. How old is this place? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Maybe I should just leave and take my chances with the good old outdoors. Whoa! Just gotta stop riding my horse in the corridors. What's that sound? Sounded like something dropping. I really should get out of here before the other shoe drops. Or maybe the owner of the place woke up after hearing me shuffle around and make a racket. Okay, I'll go check it out. Just a quick peek. That door's open a crack. Giant ellipsis. It takes me half a second to clamp my hands over my mouth and muffle my scream. But that's a half a second too slow. The bloodied stranger locks eyes with me and he doesn't look very happy. This is not good. Not good at all. I run backwards into the hallway, so flustered that I ram into the wall. I don't hesitate. I've got to run. I've got to get off of the ground and make a dash for it. I don't dare look back. I only hope that I find out my way back to the foyer. Who? What was that? That was a woman he was holding, right? That's... I'm in such a rush that I don't even notice what's in front of me until I run right into it. Nyagava. I'm so sorry, I... Wait, who is this guy? There was someone else in the castle? What should I do? Oh... Given the level of stupidity our lovely protagonist has displayed so far, let's ask him for help. Maybe he doesn't know what the other guy is up to. I should try asking him for help. Hey, you gotta do something. There's a guy in a room back there who's... You're rather impudent, aren't you? How did you get in here? Fangs! Huge ones! Then that means... He's got a terrible dentist. Where did... I feel a sharp pain in the back of my neck. Vampires! Blair. Lord Adrian's being careless again. I haven't... I haven't the foggiest idea. Knows who we get rid of. Ellipsis. What happened? That's right, I was running away from the vam... The vampires! Ellipsis, ellipsis. Um, good morning, or good evening. Maybe I'm not really sure what the time is, but vampires are nocturnal, so I'm guessing it's probably still my time. I don't know what's going on, but I'm in the company of two vampires and still alive. So far, so good. Don't mess this up, Miranda. She knows we're vampires. I told you that already. Not that it'd be different for even a human with half a brain to reason things out, considering what she saw. Ha, ha, ha. Do you expect me to be constantly on guard against ugly human girls wandering into the castle and seeing things they ought not to? For the last time, I apologize for not noticing she was here. In any case, keeping outside of the way is supposed to be your job, Luca. Are they going to keep are they going to keep us squabbling? Probably try to guess which voices to use where, I don't know. 
Maybe I should interrupt them or just keep listening. Ah, oh, they're so fascinating. Let's just keep listening. It's probably not safe for me not to say anything unless they ask me directly. That vampire with the red hair vanished and knocked me out in an instant. I don't know what else they're capable of if they get angry and I don't really want to find out. While the rest of the family is away, it's up to both of us to keep the castle safe, my lord. The Palaster Natchigal is far too large for any one person to oversee alone. Family? So they brothers or something? And he said, Palaster Natchigal. Nope, never heard of it. Well, it's a vampire castle after all. It's probably being kept secret for centuries or something. Lucky me, stumbling across it like this. Wait. Does that mean that normally there's a whole bunch of vampires here aside from these two? Jeez, I don't even want to think about it. Alright, alright, enough with your nagging, Luca. It hurts my noble ears. More importantly, what are we to do about this girl here? Ha, ha, ha. You there, girl. What is your name and what is your business here? My name is Miranda Namagatira, sir. I'm completely here by accident. I got lost in the woods and then I saw this building. I thought I might be able to rest here for the night. I meant no disrespect. This place wasn't on my ma any map I've seen, so I thought it was abandoned. I'm very sorry for intruding. Ah, and you thought she was some sort of spy or vampire hunter, Luca. I did not. I stated the possibility existed, that's all. It's better to be safe than sorry. I still think it would be best if we killed her. She's already seen too much and looks quite delicious. You've never had a meal like her before, have you, my lord? Indeed, I've never had one so dark. I'm not, <laughs> oh dear. I am not sure that such a thing would be palatable. Vase not, want not. Couple of regular gentlemen, these two. Well, in any case, you know as well as I do, we cannot kill her. I do not possess the authority to kill anyone while the rest of his family is away. So the woman I saw him uh, feeding on earlier must still be alive. I wonder what happened to her. We shall just keep her around until they return on the 22nd, and then they can figure out what to do with her. I don't believe humans make good pets, sir. Nonsense! I'm sure we shall have a house broken in no time. You say that now, but I highly suspect I shall be the one having to feed her and take care of her. Please take some responsibility, my lord. Am I a dog or something? In any case, I'm not entirely convinced she's being truthful. Tell me, human, what are you doing in the forest in the first place? I study Belgian history and culture at my university, the University of Wallabaloo. I travelled here to Belgium while on holiday to study everything up close. I was hiking near this area and I got to taking notes and seeing the sights that I lost track of time. It became too dark for me to see where I was going and my cell phone ran out of battery and I couldn't get any help. Cell phone? Cellular phone, sir. It's a portable telephone. Ah, I see. Clever lot of humans. How many cell phones do you have? Ah, one. One cell phone. Ha ha ha. What will they come up with next? How come any of them knows what a cell phone is and the other one doesn't? He must not get out much. Still, I don't expect to hear them say anything positive about humans. Luca, I do not sense that she is lying. I believe she is truly here by chance. It was simply her... Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, rewind. It was simply a bad fortune to lend up here then. That's exactly what I want to say. You said you came here on holiday. Did you come alone? I should bluff or tell them the truth. Well, that's the stupid answer. Let's be let her be intelligent just for once. I came here with a whole group of people. We parted ways just for today, but they'll be extremely worried if I don't get back by morning. 
They might even be able to track my phone via GPS and find me here. I'm sure neither of these guys want their secret castle found, so maybe it'll, maybe with this they'll just let me go. Nobody ever lets me go. What happened? All of a sudden, I... My whole body just went numb. I thought you weren't planning on killing her, sir. Ah, my mistake. Your mistake will be quite difficult to clean up, my lord. Sorry, sorry, I just saw red when I heard her threatening us like that. As if humans could find this place. She did. Ah, you're right. I wonder how that happened anyway. Bother. Well, if any of her companions do show up, I suppose we shall simply have to dispose of them also. Do not let the others find out about this, or you will be in trouble too, you know. Stupid human, why did you have to go and anger Lord Hadrian? Still, why? Why does this sensation feel so familiar? My lord? No, it is nothing. Bad end. There we go, guys. We've got through an entire playthrough in one go. Right. Let's supercharge through this. Alright, okay, let's just run through this quickly and pick this up again on the other side. Okay, well, this time, the stupid answer is exactly what we want. Um, roll back, page up. The stupid answer is the one I need to click on. There we go. Maybe they'll be more forgiving if I keep honest. I don't think I'm good, that good at lying anyway. Yeah, I came here alone. A young woman traveling in an unfamiliar land on chaperoned. Rather reckless, is it not? <laughs> it's common nowadays to travel unaccompanied, my lord. Oh, interesting. Things have certainly changed in the last century or two. A young woman on holiday alone. Fancy that. And I do. Well, we cannot simply kill her. We certainly cannot let her go either. Since she now knows this castle's existence, we simply have to stay and await further judgment. That is my last word on the matter. Please try your best to be amusing, human, for there is nothing I hate more than a bore. Luca! Show her to one of the empty rooms, will you? Yes, my lord. Follow me, human. See how I'm being kept alive for now. Thank you, sir. My lord's name is Adrian van de Natchgel, Count de Mercy Argento de Oshain. Or something like that. You do well to remember it, human. Adrian van der Vaart? No, no, I'm really crappy with names. Just Adrian will do. Ah, ah, ah. No taste for fortalities. Lord Adrian. 
Fine, fine, call me that then, if you must. Okay then, thanks, Lord Adrian. My lord may have shown you mercy for allowing you to stay here alive, but make no mistake, I do not approve of your presence here. I get it. You just want to protect your secrets, like you said. It's just my bad luck I ended up here. Well, if possible, I'd really not like to die. <laughs> oh dear. What is it? You seem to be taking this all in stride, surprisingly so. Does it not scare you that vampires exist or that we might kill you? Well, it sure does. If I screamed or cried about it, would you let me go? No. Then there's no point in being afraid. Besides, I think it's pretty awesome that vampires exist. I've seen lots of them in movies and stuff, but the real thing is really different, huh? I guess it's cooler if life wasn't... I guess it'd be cooler if my life wasn't at risk, though. I guess the conversation's over. Hmm, he's not as mean as I first thought. Well, he ain't exactly sunshine and daisies either, but at least we can I can talk to him, kinda. Here's your room. We got to it without moving. Ah, okay. Shoot, I wasn't paying attention to the surroundings at all, what with not moving and everything. Am I going to be able to find my way to and from here? Actually, are they even going to let me leave my room? I am a prisoner, technically. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Wow. This room is gorgeous. Totally doesn't look like the kind of room you get to give a hostage at all. The bed is huge. Now, I'll leave you to get settled in. For I have business to attend to. Uh, wait, please? What is it? I'm sorry to keep you, but am I allowed to leave my room? I see that there's no bathroom in here. You may leave and enter the room as you please and wander as you please, so long as you don't try to escape the castle. If you dare abuse my lord's trust, the consequences will be... dire. He's gone. Wow, after all that, the end was kind of anticlimactic. Rummaging through my backpack, doesn't look like they confiscated anything. Not that there's much to confiscate, just my notebook, textbooks, phone, wallet, some pencils. Guess I'll just put these in the chest next to the bed. Gosh, I feel so drained. And it's a hole in my neck. A lot of stuff happened tonight. That Adrian guy said the rest of his family would be back on the 22nd, right? That means I'm going to be stuck here for two whole weeks. Well, there's no point in moping about it. I'll go find a bathroom so I can wash up before bed. Whoa! Gotta stop riding this horse. Did you need something? I thought he said he had something to do. Gosh, it looks like any escape attempt will be a one-way ticket to death for sure. Um, the bathroom? He just pointed and then vanished. Well, at least he told me where it is. I'm glad it's close to my room. This way I won't get lost. I'll just remember that it's next to this bus statue thing. I'll call it Steve. Now, and now, bath time. See you later, Steve. Wake up, wake up, human. I told you to get settled in, not go to sleep. Eh? Just what do you think you're doing? Sleeping? Did you forget that you're living in a vampire castle? Of course not. Then I thought it would be common sense, but we vampires are nocturnal. If you're going to be living here for two weeks, you will have to adapt to our lifestyle. But, is that discontent I hear in your voice? Nope, no sir. Hmm. In any case, Lord Adrian would like to see you. He is in board of need of entertainment. This should be common sense, but your life expectancy is positively correlated to how entertaining my lord finds you. Roger that. Well, okay, that's 25 minutes. 
I hope you've liked this. This is going to be a lot of fun if we get to play it through. Now remember, it's totally up to you guys. If I get 20 likes for this, you get another episode. It's as simple as that. So, until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Natchigal. Thank you and good night.